Hey there, welcome back to Manatech Streamworks. So today we've got something a little different on the workbench. We're going to work on a guitar strap. Specifically this end. Stay tuned. Welcome to Manatech Streamworks. Remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more video content. So my good friend Dave Williamson, uh, who did the intro music for my channel, has these two guitar straps which he uses all the time, but he's not happy with this one <laughs> because he can't shorten it to the same length as the other strap. So this is a Levy's or Levi's strap. This is a Gibson strap. Really nice. It's almost like uh, saddle work <laughs> on a horse. But you just can't tighten this belt loop enough to get it in line with the other one. So we've got about, if I use the grid here on my cutting mat, one, two, three and a half inches that we need to shorten this belt strap in. So I'm going to do that by cutting the threads here and I'm just going to pull the strap down about three and a half inches and then re-sew it right there. I'm not going to cut it off because you never know, you might want to change it back at some point. I might even re-stitch this part too. So You might not know it, but I do some leather work as well, so let's get to it. Alright, we're going to use a really sharp blade. <laughs> We use a sharp blade. I don't think it's glued down. I think it's just stitched, but I'm going to work that blade in there. I don't want to cut the leather, just want to cut the stitching. There we go. Yeah, there's a little bit of glue there to tack it down. Not a bad idea. All right. Okay, so I've just released the stitch there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this in through to where I think I needed it. Make sure that the measurement's right before I stitch anything back. <laughs> Well, this is why you uh, you never cut first, right? <laughs> you measure. I don't know. My brain was thinking all I had to do was move it three and a half inches, but no, because of the loops and that, I have to move it a lot further than that to get the same uh, to get that spacing. So I'm going to pull this back more, and I always have to make sure that I'm lined up at both ends. And so, so that's that's better. That's pretty much the same right there. Yeah, so if you look, like I said, you got to make sure that they're lined up at both ends of the table. So that's pretty good. I think I have maybe a little more. So I'll put a little pressure on it because obviously it'll be hanging the guitar from it. That looks good. All right, so I've decided here. I'm going to, you know, I want to make sure to keep the Made in USA, and I'll probably just go right over the stitch line right here. So I need to recreate this little round end, and I've got a end punch right here. So that's going to be ready, and we need to cut this off. So, you know, you can take measurements or you can just eyeball it, but from the end, it's about a half inch or so. So, I can make a little eyeball mark. 
Again, double check. Yeah, about a half inch. Right about there. I'm going to take the punch. Now, this might not go through the leather completely. I'm going to go ahead of it a little bit. It's pretty thick. All right. Would you look at that? Well, that turned out really nice. Okay. Good. So now I'm going to take out these little stitches that are here and we're going to use the holes to mark a new position. So normally when I'm working on leather and I want to make some stitching holes I'll use these stitching irons or chisels as they're called. But these are going to make, these holes are too small. These will be too big. So I think I'll just use, you know, just an awl like that, very thin awl. I can go through each one of these holes and I can mark them on the leather below here. So we line up everything where we want it. That's good. Make a few holes. Go right through. This way the holes will line up with each other. Do it a couple of times. Now we've got the holes marked right here. Again, I hope you can see that. <laughs> I'm going to try and go through this leather with the awl. And again, I'd normally use my chisels, but these are small holes. Just going to get through it there. There we go. So it's coming through, which is good. So I can come through this side, so the good side of the leather, right? Get through there. So what you're trying to do is just create a nice hole that your needle and your thread could poke through relatively easily. <laughs> so just checking the thread I have. If I look at the the thread, the stitching that's on there. I mean, it's obviously you know worn and discolored with use, which is fine. So I think I'll use this cream thread. That'll look good. So we're going to do a saddle stitch. Super strong saddle stitch. Prepare my needles. So I use two needles for a saddle stitch. And we get the thread locked on the needle here by piercing it, piercing the thread. Now these are blunt needles too, they're not sharp sharp. Don't need them sharp because we have holes already. And we're going to go through this one. Testing my needle skills here. Again the same thing, we're going to poke the needle through the thread, lock it on. Okay. So now it's just a question of lining up our holes. So I'm going to poke through here and poke through the inner part. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same on the next hole. There. Now I can pull both of them through. And then we're going to start our stitch. So it's a little awkward to do this one. Not normally how I do it, but I'm gonna come through. And we want to make sure our leather's lined up. And we're finding the hole again. There we go. Alright. So we 
we pull that stitch together, it's super tight. And go back down through. We come back up. You know, saddle stitching, like the name would imply, is what you use for bridle work, so saddles, right? It's super strong, easy as well. I've never had a saddle stitch come apart on anything I've made or repaired. Alright, that was a little more work than it normally is because I didn't have the holes sized the way I would normally have it. So I'm just going to tighten that down. I'll give it a double little knot. There we go. I'll clip this off. Clip it nice and short here. And then just using a lighter, just burn that thread in. So that locks that stitch in there. There we go. Okay. Let's see how we did. Well, here we go. I've got it lined up at the other end, at this end, and we're locked in. So I'm going to clean up some of these threads. Don't pull them, right? Snip them. <laughs> you never know what you're pulling out when you pull on a thread. And lots of little threads here. Probably going to do here is just take this lighter. Oh, I don't want light on me now. And just sort of go over some of these ends, burn off some of these extra threads hanging around. Let's have a look at the stitch. There we go. So I went over the outside as well, locked that in. Good as new, and that'll dirty up with time. Super strong. And we can always go back to a longer length by just undoing that stitch because I didn't glue anything either and getting this back to where it was originally. All right, well, hope you enjoyed this little foray into leather work. <laughs> All right, see you in the next video. I'll get this back to Dave as soon as possible.